The waves of Jewish immigration to Palestine, driven by persecution in Europe, brought economic growth and prosperity to the region, benefiting both Jews and Arabs. However, the hopes of peaceful coexistence were shattered by organized violence, orchestrated by figures like Amin al-Husseini, who incited riots against Jews with tacit British support. Despite the Balfour Declaration's endorsement of a Jewish national home, British authorities harbored ambivalence towards Jewish settlement. Colonel Minor Tuggan's diary reveals British inclinations against Zionism, while Colonel Waters Taylor encouraged al-Husseini's anti-Jewish riots to undermine Jewish aspiration in Palestine. British rewards for al-Husseini's violence, such as appointing him Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, only emboldened further attacks. The pattern of terrorism culminated in devastating massacres against Jewish communities in 1920 and 1929, fueling the perception of Jewish immigration as a threat among Arabs. The Shah Commission's biased blame of Jewish immigration for Arab violence, coupled with calls to limit Jewish immigration, exemplified the British policy of rewarding terrorism. The Hope Simpson report echoed these sentiments, portraying Arab apprehensions as justifiable and advocating for restrictions on Jewish land acquisition. In essence, the British complicity in rewarding terrorism perpetuated cycles of violence and hindered prospects for peaceful coexistence between Jews and Arabs in Palestine. This legacy underscores the complex dynamics and challenges inherent in the region's history, shaping the course of future conflicts and negotiations.